You know, when you lock your doors at night, you expect to be safe. But one would-be robber found another way in. New at 5 tonight, News Channel 5's Andrea Klein-Thomas tells us he used a doggy door to get inside a home. Yeah, that's right, and that's not the only reason why authorities are concerned. When someone breaks into a home, they usually come in quickly, take what they can, and leave. But this guy came in with a gun through a doggy door in the middle of the night and didn't steal a thing. <laughs> You can't get too far on the property of the Spring Hill home before being greeted by incessant barking. <laughs> that wasn't the case around 2.30 Tuesday morning. Alarm went off. They got up, saw the door was open, and uh, they checked the video, and, and they seen this. Surveillance video shows a man reaching through the doggy door, trying to unlock the deadbolt. In his other hand... When he pulls out, watching that corner, see that shine handgun. He can't get the door unlocked, but he continues to peer through the doggy door, even tapping the flaps before going in. I assume he's looking for us, the dogs. Detectives say the armed man was in the home for nine minutes. I don't know if he's there to rob him. I don't know if he's there, you know, to rape somebody. I don't know if he's there to kill somebody. He definitely had the means to do that. The homeowners and their four dogs were fast asleep inside. This person was in that home long enough he could actually walked in the bedroom where they were at with that handgun. But detectives say he left without taking anything. Homeowners say he didn't even rummage through their stuff. It's especially strange because there were no other emergency calls from this neighborhood. You think he targeted the home? I feel like he did. Investigators say the homeowners don't recognize the man and have no idea why they were targeted. And after what happened, surveillance isn't the homeowner's only means to stay safe. They've now bought a gun for protection. Now, as always, if you have any more information, Murray County detectives certainly want you to give them a call. Yeah, there was a pretty clear picture of him, so someone might recognize him. That's what they hope. All right, Andrea, thank you. While home break-ins, as we all know, are pretty common, entering through a doggy door is not so common. Detectives say they can only remember it happening one other time last year.